Hey you guys, welcome back to PJ's Place. Come on in. All right, I am back with a quick wig review show and tell. Um, today, the synthetic unit that I am reviewing is part of the Hollywood Zuri uh, Swiss Royal Swiss Lace Line. Um, this is one of the wigs that has the flawless hairline. I have uh, her in the style Lady, and I also have her in the color FFT Toffee. So this is not new to the scene. I'm probably late getting on the boat for this one as well, but I did see a review or a couple of reviews on this particular unit, and I think I saw someone review this actual color, and I thought the color was nice. So this is the packaging and how she looks in the box. I did pick this wig up on Elevate Styles, um, so let me just show you how she looks directly out of the packaging. Um, I'm excited about this one because I like the color. You know, I like a dark root with that kind of transitions into blonde. Um, this unit, they say, can withstand heat up to 400 degrees. This is how she looks directly out of the packaging. And she has a, a real pretty, like, number four, number 30, and then she transitions down into, like, a 613, a really pretty blonde color. So um, I'm excited about that, and I love the waves um, or the one curl look of her I guess or the big barrel curl look of the hairstyle um, the model is wearing her with a center part but I would assume that you could probably switch her over to the side um, left or right side I guess um, this wig is a lace front and it, again is part of that flawless hair line so it's supposed to look really uh, really nice and seamless so this is how the edges look or the part looks directly out of the package. Um, the hairline does look good, and I do like the fact that the lace is a little bit of that brown color. So this is how my hand looks underneath the wig. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, this is a this is a lace part. So the parting space is not the parting space looks like it's about maybe six, maybe five inches. It's not that deep of a part, but um, and it's not like a ear to ear it kind of well, it is ear to ear but right here at the center part it doesn't give you like a, a big parting space so it's more of a lace part wig uh, as opposed to like it being a 13 by 4 13 by 5 or 6 or something like that she feels like she is a little bit on the light yakky almost silky side this part at the end the curls feels a little bit more textured than here up here at the top but she doesn't appear to be too shiny to me so Let's go ahead and put her on. Oh, and one other thing I did want to mention. They actually give you some tape here on the back, and that's pretty impressive. I'm not really going to use it, but for those of you who kind of use that, I think that's a good deal. Um, she does come with the standard cap construction. Two combs in the front, a comb in the back. This is how the wig cap looks underneath. And uh, she does have two adjustable straps in the back. So, let's try her on. have any baby hairs I don't see any baby hairs I don't think yeah so you have to create your own baby hairs but I will say that the hairline looks pretty okay um, I may go in and do a little bit of tweezing but for the most part yeah I'm liking that color I don't know what y'all think I think the color looks kind of cute so anyway let me uh, I haven't perfected the cutting the lace off on camera I'm gonna do that and kind of style her a little bit and I will be right back don't go away okay guys I am back and here she is I have her on so yeah I think I do I like her um so let me just tell you about this unit I don't know if you could tell I did go in and I kind of um, after I cut off the lace the hairline looks really good, but I did try to pluck it just a little bit because it was a little bit too straight for me across the front there. So I did 
I did do that. I put some of my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the parting space. I have color number 230. I think I normally use 330 or 335. This one is a little bit light, but I did uh, do that. <clears throat> I brushed her. Um, let's say there is a little bit of tangling but not a whole lot this wig is not real full or heavy so it doesn't feel too hot I mean even though it is a sort of a long hair unit it's kind of lightweight I don't feel like it's too full but it has a decent amount of hair on the wig cap so if I let's just if you pull it together like this this is about how much hair is on there so it's not too terribly hot or full I am loving this color y'all I love this um, FFT FFT toffee so the color is really cute. It doesn't appear to be too shiny on camera and not even here in person with me looking at it. I don't know how it will look out in the sunshine or the sunlight, but I love the, the transition of it. Um, let me lean forward. I did not pluck anything out of the part, so I'm going to lean forward so you can see how the parting space looks and then you can kind of get a look at the hairline there. Um, I did my little attempt to pluck some just a little bit because I felt like it was a little bit too straight and I did my best with it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the wig cap is a little bit on the small side. I have an average size head, so I guess it's maybe an average or smaller head um, cap size. If you have a larger size head, it may be a little bit smaller. You may just want to make sure that you have it adjusted to the um, hooks that are the furthest apart in the back of the wig cap. I am going to turn around so you can take a look at it and see how it looks in the back. it is and let me bring it around to the front um as you know i'm five four oops so this is how she falls right at my bust line here in the front um but the showstopper is i love how the uh it has the face framing face framing highlights in the front i love the texture of the hair not being too heavy um i haven't had a whole lot of tangling just a little bit and it did shed a little bit when I cut the lace off but I think that was because I went too far back I think I kind of messed up on cutting off the lace and then I tried to pluck it just a little bit around the hairline so I did experience a little bit of shedding um, in that respect but for the most part the shedding has been pretty minimal um, so once again I picked this wig up on Elevate Styles I will leave a link down below to the in the description box to the unit as well as to ElevateStyles.com and uh, once again this is part of the Holly, uh, Zuri Hollywood Royal Swiss Lace line. I have her in the style lady. And honey, she is a lady. I'm loving her. I have her in the color FFT Toffee. So once again, I thank you so much for coming back to visit me here at PJ's Place. I hope you come back again. I hope you like, share, and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And until another wig review or video, that's the